संकल्पों के दीप जलाए अपने अपने मन में शुभ संकल्पों के दीप जलाए अपने अपने मन में जग उजियारा होगा प्रेम से सुख ही सुख कण कण your family, your work. Let's start writing. How would I want my life to be? My mind. How would I want my mind to be? <coughs> my health to be? <coughs> my relationships? Let me look at my relationships at home, at work, people around me. How would I want them to be with me?
and how would I want myself to be with them. How would I want my world to be? My world. Every morning, if we sit with ourselves for only five minutes, like we plan, what am I going to do today? And we all do, what do I have to do today? Who do I have to meet today? Where do I have to go today? So we all have a schedule of how I want my day to be, what all I have to do. Meditation means thinking and preparing early morning, not just what I am going to do today, but how I am going to be today. Difference between what I am going to do today and how I am going to be today, difference? Difference? Yes? Suppose. I have a meeting today. So what am I going to do today? I am going to go for the meeting at 9 o'clock. So my schedule says 9 to 11 a.m. meeting, what I am going to do today. Second column, how am I going to be in that meeting? What are the options? How am I going to be in the meeting? What would we write there? How am I going to be? What am I going to do? Go for my meeting. How am I going to be? So what can be right there? How am I going to be? Options? Huh? I'm going to be happy in the meeting. Already right, good. What else? How am I going to be? Hanji? I'm going to make others happy. What else? How am I going to be today in the meeting? Hanji? So we will not write in the column, I shouldn't get angry. We will need to write. Huh. So we will not write what I will not be. I need to write what I will be. So what would we write? I will be? I will be calm. Very good. So I will be happy. I will be calm. Anything else? What am I going to be today in the meeting? I would like to listen, learn. Beautiful. I will listen and while listening, accept and respect everybody else's opinion. Otherwise, I could be listening but inside reject other people's opinion. Listening from here but from here not listening, rejecting. So when I write in my column, I will listen, I need to write, I will listen with respect and accepting the person. So I will be happy, I will be calm, I will respect, I will accept in the meeting. Anything else in the meeting? I will keep my ego. So keeping my ego down means I will be think. So we did a lot. But sometimes we are not still happy. Sometimes we are still not at peace. Sometimes we don't have very beautiful, smooth relationships in spite of having done so much. So human being and human doing, two different things. 
So we focus a lot on what we are going to do. Now we will start focusing on how we are going to be. Because we thought if the doing is perfect, then I will be happy. Didn't we think like this? If I do this, this will happen, then I will be successful, then I will achieve. And when all this happens, I will be happy. What is the equation? When everything outside is perfect, then I will be happy. Or when I will be happy, then everything will be perfect. What's the equation? <coughs> Let's look at the equation again. When everything outside is perfect, then I will be happy. Or when I will be happy, then everything will be nice. Second one. Second one. Second one. Sure. Paka. How many feel second one? Okay. And do you think we are living the opposite when we are outside? When I buy this, then I will be happy. When I achieve this, then I will be happy. When my child gets so many marks, then I will be happy. When this, 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 you know? Oh. See, he's looking at his papa and saying, this, this, this. See? Getting good marks, very important. But not be happy after I get good marks. Not get good marks and then be happy. Be happy and then get good marks. Why? Because, because there can be a lot of children who can get very good marks but they are not happy. But they are not happy. In Delhi, the city where I come from, the government is introducing a subject in school and the subject is called happiness. Subject, school children, subject is called happiness. So why are we sharing with you now? So that you start making your children happy before you have to introduce a subject which is called happiness. And they wrote in the newspaper, there was a proposal to submit syllabus for this subject called happiness. And they said we want to introduce this subject called happiness because children today are going through a lot of stress, anxiety, fear, insecurity because of a lot of pressures. Why are children not happy? And that too in school, why not happy? Why not happy? Why not happy? Because if they are not happy and there is a lot of pressure, then under that pressure, somebody can go through depression and somebody even can do more than that. And if we keep checking statistics for our country, the suicide rate in children is going high, youth. Why? School life was supposed to be the? School life was supposed to be the best. So if a child is not happy, what will happen after 20 years? So why are children not happy? Not happy in the sense, why are they stressed? Why are they getting irritated? Why are they getting upset? Aren't you? Expectation of the parent. Acha, one reason. What else? Pressure of performance. Wasn't there pressure of performance when you and I were in school? No? Not so much? Not so much? Do you know that the syllabus has actually become simpler now than what it used to be 20 years before? Yes? Yes? 20 years before, 3 years syllabus, exam, 5 days, Monday to Friday, exams over. Today, one exam, holiday for five days, then one exam, then ten days holiday, then one, one month to exams goes on. Why was it done like that? Things were made easier. What was made easier? The pressure was reduced. So make the pressure easier. Stress is equal to pressure divided by resilience. Resilience means inner strength. 
So stress is equal to pressure divided by inner strength. So what did society do? It started reducing the pressure. But stress still did not reduce. In fact, we are a country whom the world looks up to for children who are doing extremely well in their studies and can handle a lot of pressure. That is what the world looked at the children for. So why the pressure was reduced? Thinking if the pressure reduces, the stress will reduce. Pressure reduced, but the inner strength is also reducing. So stress factor is still increasing. Why are the children experiencing so much stress? Because we want happy children. Why are children experiencing so much stress? Okay. Children, state of mind is directly proportional to the state of mind of their parents. So like we give them food to eat, makes their physical health, what we are feeling here, what is the energy we are carrying, we radiate to them, they absorb and that becomes their state of mind. From which age, from which age do children get influenced by state of mind of the parents? From? years. From which age? From which age does the child's state of mind get affected by the state of mind of the parents? From which age? One year. Three years. Anything else? One year. Anything else? Very good. From the womb of the mother. Garab Sanskar. Garab Sanskar, which means which is the first and the easiest place to give sanskars to the child? In the womb. Now, the soul is in the womb, the child is in the womb of the mother, mother is experiencing stress, mother is getting angry, husband, wife are having literature. So the child has to do nothing, no school yet, no exams yet. The child has to do nothing to create a sanskar of stress, anger, fear, anxiety. They get it as a gift from their parents right from the womb. And then of course while they are growing, they are absorbing the vibration. And so we are taking care of our physical nutrition, we are taking care of the physical nutrition of the child. As they are growing up, we are taking care of their school, intellectual health, social health, hobbies, everything. But we are not taking care of the emotional health of the child. I met somebody from the IIT, one of the IITs of the cities, a college which will have the top intelligent coppers of the country and they said divorce, uh, sorry, suicide rate is going high in the college. Now we have to stop and think, why? And it's not just this name of the college, any college. Why suicide rate should be high when you have the most? Because studied came first, did well, everything was taken care of, but nobody was taking care of the emotional health of the child. Who will take care of the emotional health of the child? Who will take care of the emotional health of the child? Parents. 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 Very good. And to have an emotionally healthy child, what does the parent have to do? What does the parent have to do to have an emotionally healthy child? Be happy. Only simple. Be emotionally healthy yourself. So if this husband and wife are emotionally healthy, now who would we call emotionally healthy? 
How do I know that I'm physically healthy? What is the sign? Physical health. How would I know I'm physically healthy? What's the sign? Physically healthy? Physically healthy? Smiling face. Smiling face. Smiling face. No blood pressure, Acha. <laughs> no blood pressure. Okay. What else? I'm physically healthy. How would I know? Hanji sister? Yeah, but how would I know? Am I physically healthy? How would I know? Happiness on face. Willingness. Willingness in whatever you do. Physical health. Happiness on face. physically healthy. How would I know? You don't fall sick. You don't fall sick. Very good. I don't fall in one. Now let's start taking physical and emotional satsa. Physical health. I can be in thousand people and yet not catch anybody's infection. Because my immunity system is strong. Equate this now to emotional health. Be with people and not catch their infection. Immunity system, strong, one. Second, physically healthy, body is flexible. If I can't bend, that means I'm very stiff. If I'm stiff, if I try to bend, lots of aches and pains. Similarly, in a relationship, if I can't bend, if I can't adjust, if I can't accept other people's sanskars and habits and it starts paining, aches and pains, flexibility, less, I am not emotionally healthy. If I have to count, I adjusted last time also. Every time I only have to bend, I am not healthy. If I am carrying a burden here and I am not able to let go, past, past, old, happened long back, could have happened this morning, could have happened one day back, one month back, one year back. But I say, I just can't forget what they said to me. I cannot forgive. And most important, I cannot forget. Then I am carrying a baggage, paining, not healthy. Now for us to have emotionally healthy children, we only have to do one thing. We have to be emotionally healthy. Do we catch the infection of people emotionally? Do we catch people's emotional infection? Yeah, like how? How would you know you've caught somebody's infection? How would I know I've caught somebody's emotional infection? We would have the same We react, which means, right? Suppose you enter into this hall and you're going up to somebody to say hello to them and they just look at you and they turn away. It happens sometimes. They are not well. So they just turn away. They've seen you, but they've ignored you. And they've turned away. Now what will we do? Hachi? Not next time, just now first of this time. Next time to Bhatne, Abhi. You entered, you were about to walk up to him to say hello and he looked at you and he turned away. Now what do we do? Let's look at the options. What all options are there? First option. Ignore. Avoid. Crush the ego. Huh? 